Hey guys and welcome back. This is week 7 of the Hide His Word in My Heart series and today we are doing Luke 12 verse 34 and it says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Uh, for this week's verse, we are going to do a nautical type theme for which I have chosen this paper here which I think is a beautiful paper. It's got a a map here and um, the color I just love this color right now and it came from this paper pad from color book and it says signature and it's hopscotch and in here it's double-sided paper there's a lot of lovely paper in here but I really like this one it stood out to me for what I'm wanting to do so let's put this book away real fast because I like to work on the page before I put it into the book. It just makes it easier to work with. And that way if I mess up, I can just throw it away and start over again. I went and got a bowl, just a round bowl. I have a hard time doing circles, straight circles. So <laughs> I went and got a bowl and I'm just gonna trace a circle onto this. I'm going to do a compass in the center of my page. And in that compass center, I'm gonna have a heart so I want to get a good base of where I'm going to go. And I'm just using a pencil because I can erase it later on and do a thin line around this. That was so thin, I don't even think I can see it very well. I'm going to have to do that darker. Okay, that's better. Now it's hard to see on camera, but I can see it here in person pretty well. But I don't want it to be too dark because I want to be able to erase it and it not damage my paper. All right, so from here, I need to get a ruler. And I like using this one because it's clear and makes it easy to see through and line up my pages how I want them. So I need to do across right in the center of my page so this page is nine inches wide by 12 tall so we are going to go to four and a half Let's see one two three four five six. okay four and a half on our page and I'm lining it up four and a half on this edge here and lining up the bottom line here to make sure I'm straight and I will do a line straight down the center of my circle. Actually straight down the page because I want my arrows to go all the way down. Okay, so that's the center of that side. And then this one needs to be six inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, exactly six across. So line this up here. Make sure I'm even, and I will do a going this way. Okay, put this line. I'm gonna darken this one. It's a little bit hard to see. And these lines, it's okay to be darker on because those are going to stay permanent on our page. Okay, now that we have our cross going that way and our circle in the center, the circle is going to be the outline for our compass itself. And the cross is going to be the navigation points for the north, south, east, west. Um, let me see how I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start sketching and um, I might speed up the video just a little bit so that I can get the sketching done and then when I'm done sketching I'll come back and that's when we'll really fine tune it by outlining it with a darker marker or a pen and we'll go from there.
Okay guys, so this is my final product. I think it turned out really nice. I'm really excited about it and I think it'll be a great addition to my book. Let's see, we'll go ahead and put it into my journal. <clears throat> Okay, there we have it. Week 7 is complete. I look forward to crafting with you guys next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.